Hello, everybody. As you may see, we're uh, back on the island. As you uh, may have noticed, I was having some trouble. And as I was doing it, well, I could not figure out how it was even possible to beat it. So I went to the, I went and skipped to uh, Haley's uh, Let's Play of it, and I realized there was something significantly different that she managed to do that I didn't. And uh, I have a sneaky feeling now that I've gone through the entire game again. Yes, you heard me right. And I've done certain stuff again, as in doing all the side quests, because they give you letters, and in real life, those letters become fan mail that you get. You need to get all five. Why? Well, we're going to go through this entire conversation one more time with this person. And if I've done this right, there will be a significant change at the end of the conversation before we battle. Alright, so Tiny Box Tim, we'll, go, we'll speak through this, because we already talked to Tiny Box. But yeah, guys, I'm that serious. Like, I want to, I want to, um, I'll need none of this. Yeah, I, I, I said that right. I will need none of that. If I've done this right, all I need to do is save and go in, because I have all I need. Alright, so we're going to do this one more time, and this time I'm going to be a big falling baby, because it's out of my system, and you guys will see why at the end of this video, I promise. So what now? Welcome, player. You reached the final area of dream.exe. Yeah, I could have guessed that. Now show yourself. I have a few words for you. Why, of course. It would be rude of me not to introduce myself, now wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I guess. Sorry, water. I was kind of bluffing. I wasn't exactly sure if you really had a self to introduce. Yeah, we're going to go through the entire thing again. Name, Mark, Edward, Fishbot. Yeah, you know my name. We had this conversation already. My apologies. I was just admiring your progress throughout the game. Yeah, so? I would like to congratulate you personally. This is this game is notorious for being unbeatable, as I've heard. But I'm here now, uh, so I guess there's a first time for everything, right? It's not gonna be that easy, is it? Very persuasive. Ah, I can't even. I butcher the English language so much. I need to learn new English to butcher. Then what are we standing around here for? Let's get this thing started in due time. What are you scheming? Wouldn't you rather go back? Go back? What do you mean? To the beginning? Send you there. Why would I want to do that? Let's be honest. Wouldn't you rather continue playing with your little friends? Attempting to move on would pr prove to be most uncomfortable. There's no way in hell I'm going to let you talk me into quitting. Oh, really? I'll beat this game, and I'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Such noble words. It's a shame they must go to waste. What are you blathering about? You know what dreams are made of? They're simply brainchilds of the na knave. Those who believe in such things serve a fate worse than death. Listen here, you psychopathic bitch. I don't know what your problem is, but don't you dare let me hear you say anything of that sort ever again. Those who allow themselves to dream are the bravest kind of people out there. They put their heart out on their sleeves and venture out into the world completely open and vulnerable. Sometimes, things may not always be the brightest, but they fight. They fight hard, and they don't give up. I won't let you stand there and tear them down. Tear them down? I gave them everything. I gave you everything. You would never have to worry about trivial matters such as dreams. I will give you one more chance. Go back now, or else this dream will become your worst nightmare. Then bring it on. You should have left when you had the chance. What the fuck are you? I am Papius, the creator of Dream.exe. You are an unholy creature who shouldn't exist. You stand there, trembling at my power aura. I... No. You feel it, don't you? You feel all the negativity sleeping inside of you. No, I... I don't. Even now, you feel completely powerless. Useless. You know you can't stop me. No one can. What is wrong with you? It's ironic how you feel the need to ask that when we both know it's really you that you're asking. What the hell are you getting at every day? You ask yourself the very question. What is wrong with you? You are all alone. You are always alone. You have no one. I have more people than you could ever imagine on my side. Braun, you have no one. 
You are a scared little man. You cower and hide behind a monitor and a keyboard, whittling the day away playing little computer games. You fill yourself with a false sense of security by running to the internet anytime you begin to realize you are isolated with your own negative thoughts. Even now, you are completely alone, just hoping to get through the day so you don't have to deal with your own isolation. But you're wrong. You hide because the truth is the most painful part of your morality. There is no tiny box stem. There is no Wilford Wharf stash. There is no Markiplier. There is only a pathetic human being and his computer. I err. And now it's just you and me. You cannot defeat me. I make the rules. I rule this world. And now I own you. And this is where we forget all our moves. Yep. I, I can't win. So come to me. I... No, I can't. What? Okay, yes. It's gonna, it's, I think it's, I think it worked. It's true, I play video games, and I do spend many hours recording myself, but only a fool would try to make me believe that I'm alone. I have amazing friends that would do anything for me if I need them. I have two amazing mothers and my brother who still cares very deeply for me. And here's the kicker, you son of a bitch. I have an entire community I not only, not only care for, but with all my heart, but they care for me. So keep your grubbly hands off them. I will defend them with every fiber of my being. I will make it my personal goal to bring joy into their lives. Yes, it changed. I know I am but one man, but as a community, will uh, we will not falter. I will do my damnedest to carry all of their burdens. Yes, it changed. You messed with the wrong guy. I am Mark Edward Fisherman, otherwise known as Markiplier. I have an alter ego by the name of Wilford Warfstash and a very good friend who just happens to be a tiny box. What do you have? You? Well, guess what? I have the greatest support group in the world, and together we will defeat you. What's happening? The change. You guys have to go through everything. Do not miss anything like my ADD brain missed, because this is the most important thing you will learn. We will defeat you. Very well, then. I will just have to beat you the hard way. Now, will I? Won't I? Brain it! Okay, so special attack. Seven million hearts united. Game over. Now we're able to change the world, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> that seven million damage. Yeah. Okay, this is the part where I have no idea what's supposed to happen, so I may turn teary-eyed. Let's let's find out what happens. What the? Who are you? I I'm the creator of this game. What do you mean? What happened to Pathius? Pathius is gone. Are you okay? About as okay as somebody who just had been possessed by a demon. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Chastity. I cre created a video game and then was subsequently... <sighs> I swear to God, guys, I can't speak. Possessed by a demon. Weird, no? Yes. What? What the hell are you doing in that drab? You look like crap, although the M is a nice touch. You mean the blue suit? I thought they were standard in this game. Not in my game, damn it. I would never force someone to hide themselves in such a hideous thing. Huh? Okay, well, I obviously have a lot to fix in this game, but I'll start this island. Should make... But I guess this island should make a good start. So what exactly are you doing? Amvala. Oh, wow. You know what I think, Mark? I think you look perfect just the way you are. Okay. I must apologize. I guess some sort of bug corrupted the system or something. But thanks to you, I was able to regain control of my avatar. Well, I'll always here. I'm always here to help, and I thank you for it. I am indebted to you, Markiplier. It was really no problem. Truth be told, I had tons of fun playing Dream.exe. I really did. That's so good to hear. I must ask one thing, however. Um, yeah, shoot. Per the rules of Dream.exe, the victor shall be given a huge reward. Awesome. This is so cool. So, what is your dream? Is it money, powers, perhaps a special item, anything your heart's desire? Oh my god, I already feel it. I already have an answer of what kind of goofy answer it's going to be, and I, I like my my eyes are already starting to. That's a funny question. You see, I don't really want any of that stuff. Really? You see, my dream is actually a rather simple one. What is it? I I said it could be anything. 
I want to do is help change the world for the better. I want to make people smile. I want to brighten up their day. There's so many people facing hard times, and it breaks my heart knowing that I can't do anything about it. I just want to make people smile and work towards a positive and bright future. If I can do that, I'll have realized my dream. What? Your ward is waiting for you in the back room. What do you mean? Just go look. This is moments like where I wish I had a face cam. Uh, where my face cam worked because like the, it just some there, there there's the positives about having a face cam while while playing video games and there's the negatives. But this is one of those moments where I'd be positive to have it. You know. So, Caitlin Finley, Outlast, a talented artist and Twitch streamer, lover of cats and Diet Coke, self-proclaimed queen of the couch. H. Elsa. Heather Lewis, Rust, a wonderful mother of two, bubbly, friendly, yet shy. Oh, God. U.S. K.S. Kevin Smith, two world durst, do this mount, a gothic artist and fun loving spirit, aspiring YouTube gamer, self described cereal eating night owl. Oh my god. AT Soul. Amelia Taylor, Five Nights at Freddy's, an imaginative young writer, plays clarinet and loves Pokemon, proud, loving, long line lover of the Beatles. MS Soul. Michael Sean, draw my life. One smile can change the world. Wow. Well, that was definitely an experience. Well, now that I'm done with that, my let's play, I should go read some of my fan mail. Let's uh, save and then go read the fan mail, guys. Thank you, Tiny Box Tim. Thank you, Tiny Box Tim. <sighs> Dear Markiplier. You've done more than I can ever thank you for. Thank you for giving me my life back and inspiring me. Keep doing you. You are wonderful. Sincerely, Caitlin. Hi, Mark. You don't know me, but thank you. I'm so proud of you. Sincerely, Heather Amy Lewis. Thank you, Mark. Because of you, me, and many other people are in such a much better place now. You truly are an amazing person. Hi, Kevin. I, I love you, buddy. Uh, dear Mark, you are a beacon of hope and a bringer of laughter and light to the world. I have a feeling I know who this is. You are truly remarkable. You have a gift for making people feel better. And with this gift, you have saved and healed the lives of many. Thank you for everything you've done and will continue to do. You are an amazing and special person who millions of people cherish and adore, including myself. With heartfelt thanks and lots of love, Amelia Taylor. Get it? Remarkable? <laughs> Dear Mark, my name is Michael Schumann. If you would allow me, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time. First of all, I'd like to thank you for playing Dream.exe. I really hope you had as much fun playing it as I had designing it. From start to finish, this project has been a blast to work on. As you may have gathered, I was not alone in creating this game, but I'll get to that. I have known about your channel for two years, however I made no point to watch your channel as it wasn't in my personal interest at the time. Eventually, last year, I saw a few of your Happy Wheels playthroughs. I watched a few, but alas, didn't stick around. Around September of 2014, however, a huge new fad hit the oh, internet yeah. like a ton of bricks. Five Nights at Freddy's. I was actually rather behind and really only looked up the game out of curiosity. Truth be told, I would have clicked on any video that popped up. And wouldn't you know it, the first result was your playthrough, so I figured, why not? I guess this guy's alright. I was about a mile off target. You were incredible, to say the very least. Again, however, I didn't stick around. It wasn't until about a month later that I saw a video of yours that really grasped me. It was the one where you drew your life. I didn't know what compelled me to click on it, but I did. <laughs> I was captivated. I was too at the time. The entire time, I felt as if I could relate in many ways. Yeah. I realized I knew you, in a way. Yeah. You see, I lost my father and mother at a very young age, 10 and 15 respectively. 
I'm very familiar with depression and suicide. Yeah. Throughout my life, I've dealt with many problems, from abuse of all kinds. I moved a lot when I was younger. I dealt with potential autism, depending on who you asked, and I was diagnosed with ADHD. I had been bullied, I had been beaten, I have been lied to, I have been kicked out, I have been made to feel completely helpless, and if I'm being honest, I have felt completely alone. One day it hit me, the thought that made me feel worse than anything I've ever felt in my entire life. There are many people who are way worse off than I ever was, even at my lowest point. It was that thought that filled me with complete dread. From then on, I found purpose in my life. I want to be a force for positivity and help those that need it. No one deserves to go through life with such heavy burdens, but if they must, they should never have to do it alone. But I digress. Your philosophy and outlook on life was what compelled me to really begin taking an interest with your channel. About a month ago, I had read many comments from the Markiplier community. So many success stories, so many people that had overcome great challenges. You have reached so many people, helping them in no small way. I had an idea for a game. A game about life and the struggles we face. You have become one of the greatest examples, at least in my life, of the power of what positive thoughts can do. This game, conveniently, came to me in a dream, or at least the idea did. I owe this entire game to the people who let me use their experiences. I reached out in the community, asking complete strangers about their trials with hardships. Each one of them was impacted by you. You helped them, and continue to help them make positive decisions, and in turn, be positive forces themselves. I would also like to thank the group Markiplier's Heroes on Facebook. They work tirelessly to improve lives in any way they can. It is only yeah. because of that group that I have been able to get this game as far as it has. The final person I owe this game to is one of my best friends, Kyler Alvey. Truth be told, when I first thought of the game, I had never touched any sort of game making software. To make this a reality, I needed help. Kyler is an amazing guy who even has his own gaming channel. He's definitely a force for good, and I couldn't have done any of this without him. With that said, this is also his first full game. As a quick note, we hope you were able to find his NPC inside the frivolous room of your house. If you weren't able to, please note that this area is only available after you beat Outlast, but is no longer available once you beat Five Nights. I know, we're evil bastards for hiding such an awesome Easter egg like that. Check it out if you get the chance. We really hope our efforts were able to make your day better. Even if the person hearing this is not Mark, we sincerely hope this game has been able to be a positive force in your lives. Before I go, I have a few requests, if you wouldn't mind. Please give a shout out to Kyler's channel, Decree B. He put everything on hold just to help me with this game, and he deserves all the credit in the world. This game started as just an idea, and 400 hours of research, networking, writing, plotting, coding, spriting, drawing, troubleshooting, beta testing, polishing, and a ton of sleep deprivation, it was finally made perfect. I could never pay him back for helping me create this intricate gaming experience. Decree B is a great guy, and it would mean the world if you gave him a little love. He really did a damn good job. And maybe one day, he might even be able to play a quick game with you. I know it would make his life to have that kind of opportunity. Also, please help me in thanking Caitlin Finney, Heather Lewis, Kevin Smith, and Amelia Taylor. Without them, this game would seriously be lacking content. They were a huge help, and I'm happy to call them friends. And for my final request, please continue inspiring positive change. I know it's cliche, but this community is filled with literally millions of people who watch your videos every day. People who care so deeply about you, people you are able to inspire. Even if you can just make them crack a smile, it's all worth it. The game only had five levels, but could easily have had over seven million. That's how many it would take to do them all justice, yep. because everyone has a story, and even one small video on your part can be a huge help to them in their lives. This community is so strong and doing so many incredible things, and it will continue to do so evermore. So thank you, Markiplier. Sincerely, from everybody. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye So, uh, confession, I had previously made a video to go with the ending.
because when I realized I messed up, but I was filled with all those emotions, uh, I was like, I gotta get these emotions out now, even though I have to go back through this entire game and fix my really, really horrible mistakes. Um, and trust me, guys, you want to go through it because there's a lot of really cute, more cute dialogue. Um, those scroll, like for example, the scroll I found, don't know why I didn't click, but every little area you go to, you find more squirrels, and eventually he'll scream out, I'm king of the squirrels! And you'll find another one, the, um, the fan mail. Um, so there's a, there's, <sighs> there's also a blacksmith one. I think those are the only two I skipped. Of course, there was the boat one I never got to finish with this because I didn't have enough money. But uh, the other one that I didn't get to, to was the blacksmith that somebody gives you a broken sword and tells you to go find a blacksmith. So you literally go around yelling at everybody, WHERE'S THE BLACKSMITH?! So, uh, yeah, trust me, go, uh, you don't, don't miss out on that if you play it for yourself. Um, it's, it's important. Um, I'm redoing this video, of course. I was a blabbering, crying fool. Um, <laughs> I really was in the last video. Uh, but I had a feeling, I knew what the risk I was of prematurely making that video before, um, I was completely done. And this was the rest of me having to redo it again. Okay. I, uh... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta have a moment. I'll skip screen this. But, uh... Everything that was being said at the end to Mark, you know, um, and then how he came back up and was like, no, I'll defend these guys. It, um... Even from the Draw My Life, that really hit home for me. Because I remember the first time I watched Draw My, I Draw My Life with some old friends of mine. And, um, feeling the exact same way he, he said he felt when he watched it. Um, I've been through the washer, I've... I want to tell you guys something about me. It's affected me hugely in my life and made me the person I am today. All the bad and the good. But I like to sometimes tell people that I don't have parents. When I was 11, my father went away for a very horrendous criminal act. He has come back into my life on and off, but he is currently gone again. Um, still learning from his mistakes. And when he went away that last time, the last time he went away, he had told me that I needed to get over myself and take care of his hurt feelings because a friend who wasn't really con can you can consider a close friend because he was a friend of a friend had uh, committed suicide and me being upset my sister being upset who went to school with him and had walked the hallways the day before he took his life and said hello how you doing to her and same back to him it affected her in so many different ways you could imagine it affected me to see her hurt and i'm very emotional about people i care about so um the friends that were hurt i didn't know how to make it stop hurting so, um, my dad didn't help with that. My mother has got a whole lot, uh, a lot of going on with her as well. And, uh, she definitely doesn't get Mother of the Year. Um, any counselor I've ever had as a kid has always wrote me off as a parentized child. I have uh, two younger sisters, two 
absolutely beautiful, gorgeous younger sisters than I do. Anything in this world for anybody that uh, knows me personally and has stuck around through all the bullshit I could put somebody through because I can be a very mean, horrible person. Or I could have been. I've uh, recently gotten help for a lot of my problems. But uh, one in particular, Laura, I love you. I love you so much. She knows. How horrible a person it could be. How, how, how monstrous depression can make you. And how not, you know, having a strong family support can make you think what you think is right when it's actually wrong. And she went through a lot of this stuff and, you know, we talk only on the internet now because she's, you know, like two hours away and whatnot, but she's one of the most important people in my life. No matter how horribly I've ever talked about her or how horribly she's ever talked about me, you know, we 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 have fought really bad in the past, but we've come back to each other and um as far as I'm concerned, she's my sister. Sorry guys, I'm getting all disgusting. But, uh... Uh, it's, it's crazy, because, um... She's the only person I can say that I know in real life that has really seen all 50 shades of, of, of me. And, um, and has survived staying my friend, I should say. Because I had recently a accident happen. And uh, that def definitely did not survive um, this aura. Um... Uh, it's nobody else's fault but mine. I should have got help much sooner. I should have been much more responsible for my actions. And now I am going to be. Uh, so don't take this as a, my little pity party. Because it's it, it's not. It's just, you know, like emotions coming out. About, about it. About, uh, let's, let's be frank with what, I'm, what it is. It's, it's bipolar. Um, but, um. Uh, In uh, Markiplier's six million video, six million video hit, um, I love the title to it to this day, Pursuit of Happiness, because it's, it's something I'm always battling for, is my happiness, and then the happiness of everybody who ever is in my life somehow. Um, it's the biggest fight of my life. Um, uh, <laughs> when I watched that video, um, I watched his reaction video to Marco Pyrocene's Badly's collab with all the other fans and whatnot, um, I looked at everything I ever, ever wanted to do with my life. Um, well, I wanted to become a chef. I went to culinary school, and I got my associates check. And now I'm living that, but what else was there that I wanted to do with my life? Well, I remember when I was sitting down with, um, with a really good friend of mine, childhood friend of mine, and she introduced me to my first Let's Player, and he goes by, still to this day, Chugga Conroy. I don't watch him really anymore. 
I've kind of uh, branched away from Nintendo games, and it's pretty much what he plays. But he used to watch his Pokemon Let's Plays all the time. Um, I remember thinking I had to be 13, maybe 14 years old, maybe 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 younger than that. I don't know, but that seems about the right range. Um, and thinking, well, that'd be so cool to just be able to do. And now you know people are making money off of it and building this awesome community off of it. And uh, Markiplier is a part of it. We're a part of it. Every last one of us, all now seven million of us, are a part of this. And it's a fantastic thing because there's charities now and live streams for charities and 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 things that that, that help kids in need and. <sighs> Just all kinds of different things. Like, uh, there's just so much. There's so much out there that the people behind the this the screen and with this are doing right now for the greater good. And uh, as I said back in my 50 subscriber stream, I wanted a piece of that pink wharf stash pie and. This is my piece now, and it's absolutely the most fantastic thing I've ever experienced. Uh, look, I right now is doing this. I have 99 subscribers. I'm that close to 100, and I'm uh, 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 100. Oh my god, I'm so almost so close to 100. Oh my god, what did I do? So you know, like 100 subscribers compared to 7 million subscribers, and I'm so excited about it because it's 100 people watching my videos, and you know, I know like. Uh, quite a few more people that are like, hey, sub me for sub, and, you know, we'll check out each other's videos, and this is what it is, and, you know, I'll go back and check out their videos out, and eventually when I do that, they realize, oh, there's this person legit here to check out my videos, I'm not a number, well, I'll go check them out, and that's happening now, and I'm, I'm getting that. My phone daily is going off because if it's not, um, people from We Just Want to Play Games, or Kevin Smith being Kevin. Um, he's, uh, his YouTube channel is actually Google Chronicle, but, uh, that, the, the Kevin that you saw in that game is, uh, some, is the person I was playing, um, a uh, person I was playing Town of Salem with, so, uh, seriously, go check him out, go check out everybody, I, you know, but, anyways, back on top before I start doing some advertisement for my buddy there, um, you know, they're, you know, I, I'm i talking to them as much as I can. We, we've kind of been uh, scattered because everybody's getting busy for the summer. But, um, I'm constantly checking out Markiplier's Heroes. All, this, all these people in Markiplier's Heroes is an absolutely giant, huge support group. And if you have not heard of Markiplier's Heroes and you go search it on Facebook and you want in, well, question why you want in, you know, tell them I sent you. I highly doubt they ever would. Unless we have a problem. We've only, I've only seen it happen twice, but just tell them I sent you. They'll let you in. They'll welcome you with hugs, kisses, and, and rainbow sprinkles, and cookies. Lots of cookies. Um... Oh, and then there's a baby-making process with all the animates, but uh, you'll see. <laughs> um, they're all wonderful people. Absolutely, absolutely wonderfully, wonderfully fabulous, fantastic, just mind-blowing people. And um, they keep me going every day. Uh, there, was a, there was a moment, a time where I left because we, I had a disagreement with some of the stuff that's going on. And I just left. I didn't make a. I didn't make a. You know, a sound peep or whatever, because I knew that the invitation would still be open for me to come back um, when and if I felt like it. And it took about a day. It barely took a week. And Haley said, had messaged me wondering where I'd gone, and they'd kind of put it together. And I filled them in. And then after that conversation, I immediately joined back up and refriended everybody. And. I felt horrible because I lost because I had a moment of lost faith with with them, and I'm never gonna have that happen again. Because ever since it happened, I feel like even though I'm, you know, uh, not able to talk as much as you know uh, anybody else, I feel stronger with the community now. And and uh, the fact because 
I wrote about it, and uh, and it and it pretty tears my eyes just wanting to say it out loud, but it meant a lot to me. I didn't, I didn't say anything to anybody. I didn't anything, but it meant a lot to me that they reached out. They're like, "Are you okay?" How can we, you know, let's see if we can talk about this. That's something that seriously impacted my life. This is a Markiplier Heroes community. And, um... They care so much about every last one of you guys. The last one of us, we all care so strongly. Don't forget that. They're, they're there for you. Uh, they may have to, you know, get tough and threaten with a band hammer every now and then, but they, they do it in everybody's best interest and they do it to the best they can. Uh, don't, don't ever forget that. Um. <laughs> get all sniffly again. Um. But. To wrap this up, being a part of this community has made me feel like I have 7 million friends right behind me all the time. Um, and as it's constantly reminded, we're all really strangers to each other. But sometimes it feels like I know you guys. It's, you know, it, it's really, it's really great, great feeling. Um, Mark Plyer uh, will uh, probably never see this this video because he's got so much he's already got a filter, but you guys will, and it's really important, really, really super important that Mark Plyer sees and plays this game. Uh, this game. Is worth his time, and we need to do everything we can to make sure this game gets saved. So do what I did. If you have the capability, play the game, record it. it doesn't matter the quality of your equipment. Look at what I record with. Just do it. Go and play this game, and get let's plays out there, and uh, start rating it on Game Jolt. Get it shooting up, you know, uh, go and help on Tumblr with, with the art like everybody, like everybody was posting earlier today. Um, do what, what we can. Mark has got to see this video. I mean, not this video, but this game. <laughs> this game. He doesn't have to see this video. It would be mind-blowing explosion if he actually saw this video, but he doesn't have to see this video. He needs to see the game. And he needs to play this game because I think this game would. Uh, he's already quite impacted by us as it is, but uh, there's no way to get through this game if you're part of this community without freaking bawling your eyes out. And he will ball his eyes out. He will, and he he will um, continue to be able to inspire after playing the game and just another nudge in the right direction for him to constantly stay stronger and, and this game's that important for him to see. That important. Alright, so this end video is 20 minutes long of me just once again bawling my eyes out. So, um, I'm gonna end it here. Um, you guys are so beautiful, so strong and just absolutely fantastic and don't change. Don't ever change. All of you, um, Every last one of you in the community, Laura, I gave you a little shout out here, and it's because you don't—you have no idea how much you, I don't, you know, I, I know you know how much you mean to me, but sometimes I really got to wrangle you in and make you understand how much you mean to me. You mean so much to me. Um, because after the recent events that happened to me, I was able to compare it to things I've done to you in the past and realize that despite all that, you're still there. And that takes you from being a best friend to being my sister. And I love you for it. This is 
7th Celestial signing out. Until next time, you know what to do. See you guys later. Bye.